Our kids is a lot to handle. I mean, it's a lot for one person to deal with all these personalities at once. Ro Jr., he's a little more independent, more laid back than the rest of them. He thinks he's a superhero. Josiah is the second oldest. He is charming, class clown, mischievous. And he's always smiling while he's doing it. Isaac likes to be the center of attention. He loves to make you laugh. And he loves girls. Way too early. Way too early. And then we have May, Princess Madison. Queen. Queen. She runs the show. Yay, yay, yay. Elijah, he's the real true lover boy. He loves on everybody, anybody. He walks up to perfect strangers and give them the biggest hug. <laughs> what is that? Miss Olivia is drama queen. Diva. Olivia. She's always bringing a ruckus. She'll bring it to your door. <laughs> She'll bring the ruckus to your door, you hear me? <laughs> That was a clip from Growing Up McGee. And as you can see, the family makes the Brady Bunch look like a breeze. Ro and Mia tried for 10 years to have a family before they became the first parents to have a set of sex tuplets in Columbus, Ohio. Sex tuplets, yes, six children. So if you think your life is busy, think again. We get to see all the craziness that goes on in this household as the series kicks off tonight. Ro and Mia join me now to talk about all the challenges and surprises we're getting this season. But first, you guys, I want to start back from the beginning. How this whole thing started was with that picture, your family picture that kind of went viral, which was years ago. Kind of how has everything been from that moment leading up to the show premiering tonight? Oh my gosh. It's been, it's been crazy. It's journey. been very, very busy. And that picture, oh God, it definitely was the foundation of all of this. Yes. Um, not like we had the kids, which that was already a level of craziness. And mm -hmm. then the TV show and the cameras and all of this attention. It's been really, really busy. But it's been a, a joy. I would say it's been an honor been and a, a joy, a true blessing. Yeah. Well, and the kids are five years old, and as we saw from the clip a little bit earlier, they all have their own kind of distinct personalities and, you know, different things they go mm -hmm. through. Do you think over the five years things have maybe gotten any easier or maybe just different? Different. Um, yeah. Absolutely different. You Definitely know, different. There's no diapers right now. There's a lot of personality, mm -hmm. a lot of energy. We can't keep them confined. They, they, they're they not having it, you know. So, you know, we just got to keep up with them and just, um, you know, make sure that they're, they're busy at all times. Yes. Because our goal is to make sure they're tired when it's bedtime. That's right. <laughs> well, it's going to be a party in there. It's oh, right. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm not a parent myself, so one day if I do become a parent, I want to get some advice from you because I know you probably have had it all happen to you. Do you have any advice for parents that maybe only have one or two since you guys have probably run the gamut with six kids running around? Yeah. Well, it, I mean, literally, I was in your 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 shoes. I, I was right there, but six years ago, because it's going to be six. They're going to be yeah. six. So six years ago, could you imagine going from zero to six instantly? It's a lot of learning, and one thing we've learned is to take it one day at a time. Absolutely. That's a big one for us because you're always trying to. Well, what about this? And what about no one day? And that's today. Right. That's a big one. That's a That's right. great piece of advice. And I know tonight we're going to get two episodes to kick us off. What are we going to see tonight? Mm, mm, mm. Um, chaos. Craziness. Chaos. Chaos. <laughs> no. No, you're going to. Um, Control chaos. You know, you're going to get to see the kids. Um, literally, they are just, like he said, opinionated. They don't hold anything back. It's almost all the time, us against them, you're going to see, you know, they're five years old. From that picture, they have grown and matured and developed yes. significantly, significantly. I can't even talk right now. But you also will see that we've grown up. We've learned how to be parents to not just one, two, three, four, five, six kids that are five years old now. And that's that right there is has a lot of challenges. Yeah. And you know what? You will see that you don't have to be perfect mm -hmm. to be a parent. No. You know, that's another. As good long as you're there nice. and, you know, um, you love your child, that's all it takes mm -hmm. is love. It love. Is love. And I have to ask you really quick before I let you guys go do you feel like the kids maybe were hamming it up a little bit with the camera crew around and everything? Or how did they kind of handle that portion of it? You know what, um, I don't even think they notice the cameras are there no. because, um, you know, the cameras are there for 
let me see, four hours a day. After the first hour, they don't even recognize the cat. <laughs> They're like family. The camera Literally. crew is like family. So put, putting on a show or anything like that, no, not at all. No. Not at all. You well, know, I'll tell you. They pay each other more attention than... Um, their mommy and daddy in <laughs> <and> the cameras. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, they are adorable. Again, you guys, congratulations. Thank you for Thank letting you. us in uh, to your home to see how this all pans out. We can't wait for the season. Thank you so much again. Thank you, Thank Tita. you for having us. Remember, Growing at McGee premieres tonight on Up with two episodes. Check it out. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back. <laughs>